Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James in Nashville, and in this video, let's go over the Walking Dead franchise, kind of where it's going, what it's doing, and a little bit about what we can expect. There's been some rumors out there about some stuff. I've got some information here and there, and I may slip some of that in, so not necessarily spoiler alert because I'm not sure about all of this information. It's not confirmed or anything like that, but if you're really, really, really scared of spoilers just in case, spoiler alert. So taking a look at the big picture, looking at the franchise going forward, it is season 11, the last season of The Walking Dead. We're about to get the last eight episodes. How will things go forward? We are getting Fear the Walking Dead season eight. It's not on this graphic, but if you look at season nine, episode five on this graph, you can see that's when Rick left the show. As you go through season 10, you have Michonne leaving during that time, season 11 AB, season 11 C, which is the end, which is uh, part three, the part that's about to air, the last eight episodes. How can Rick and Michonne maybe come back at the end of the show, at the end of season 11, and kind of make things work out? And then we still have the spinoffs afterwards. Even Scott Gimple has said we're going to see in the Rick and Michonne series um, the time Rick left in the helicopter. You know, we're going to see what happened after that, where he went, and things like that. That's what he said. And then Michonne, she's got her story with that group of people she's found. So she's going to be doing something, looking for Rick while Rick's doing his thing. You know, the first few episodes, uh, possibly several, we should get Rick's story and maybe hints of Michonne, but it'll be two different timelines. Because Michonne, uh, when she met that big group of people, was definitely a lot later on, of course, than when Rick left. So we should get his story. It may be flashbacks. I don't know how they're going to do it, but it will lead all the way up their story Michonne finds Rick, and they could return. This is how uh, The Walking Dead could have a happy ending. Rick and Michonne returns at the very end and are reunited with Judith, RJ, and the rest of their friends. At that point, then, we'll have Isle of the Dead with Negan and Maggie. We'll have the Daryl series in France. We still got Fear the Walking Dead out there, and I'll bet we'll have maybe one more spinoff. And, you know, I've been talking to MS in the comments. We've been talking in email, things like that. And I think we agree. And with some information, the rumors, just looking at the big picture that the idea, we think anyway, or uh, looking at the bigger picture that Gimple's trying to do is that maybe it'll be the Rick and Michelle series that continues in a straight line and all of the dead will merge with it. The Daryl series will merge with it. Fear the Walking Dead will merge with it. And I think somewhere out there, 2025, 20, 26, we may have another Walking Dead show that's a main show that has, still has a bunch of their characters. You know, Rick and Michonne, maybe they retire and go off and do their own thing. One of them could die. You know, something big could happen, and it may not always be Rick. It may not always be Michonne. It may have them for a while, and then again, you know, we lose them and we're following other characters. And even if Fear the Walking Dead doesn't ever merge, I do think outside uh, past the end of season 11, as we're doing these spinoffs, they will somehow merge into one show that will continue for a while. So on the spoiler side of things, I do think uh, there's been some rumors that Father Gabriel lives. I know a lot of you have been questioning the water tower that we see in the last promo. Maybe somebody else gets it, but that's past. You know, I think we're past that. I don't think we're going to get that. I think, you know, that was something that happened in the comic. It just didn't get adapted into the show and everybody's been waiting for it. But going forward, they have so much potential. And that's more what this video is about. Looking ahead, the Rick and Michonne series, I think will cover a huge span of time. We're still bouncing around the timeline. I'm thinking Owl of the Dead and the Daryl series will all be kind of during the same time frame. But the Michonne and the Rick, of course, will be jumping around. We'll be either starting in the past and hurriedly getting to the future uh, present point. Or we'll be bouncing around and still be having flashbacks as well, which could be confusing to some. I do think it's possible that some of the other characters could be in one of these series or something like that, or in the Rick and Michonne series or something, you know, like uh, take Father Gabriel I was mentioning before. Let's say he does survive season 11. Okay, does he go into a series that we don't know about yet? Will he end up in the Daryl one, uh, the Isle of the Dead one, or the Rick and Michonne one? If we do see Father Gabriel again, where will he come into the picture? So as far as the main, main characters, Rick, Michonne, Negan, Maggie, Daryl, we at least know they have a direction. And Norman Rita said that uh, 
Daryl will meet Carol again, so you got that. But it is a whole lot harder to predict what happens to some of the other characters. Aaron, Father Gabriel, Jerry. I'm pretty sure if Eugene survives, he'll probably stay at Commonwealth with Max, you know, and Princes will stay with Mercer. So some things are just, hey, that's probably what's going to happen to those guys. But some are a little left open-ended. We don't know what's going to happen. You know, like Aaron is one of the biggest questions I have. What will happen to Aaron? But I do think we'll see a merger. But the merger will be the spinoffs kind of into one show way out around 2025-ish, somewhere in there. And again, the last video's thumbnail had the Grim Reaper's uh, photo on it saying, I'm coming for the franchise because it sucks so bad. Can the franchise be saved? Can these spinoffs save the franchise? Uh, a lot of you guys say you're not even going to watch them. A lot of long-time commenters, long-time Walking Dead viewers that's been in my comments for years have said, yeah, I'm kind of pretty much done with the Walking Dead franchise. But here's a good vibe going out to the universe that at least the Rick and Michonne series and the Negan Maggie series and the Daryl series are top notch like the main show. Come on. Come on, Scott Gimple. Do us something good. Give us something good. Do your job. Spend some money. Whatever it's going to take. Bottom line, I love you guys and I want this channel to keep going and The Walking Dead to be great so we can stay around and discuss it for years to come. Is that going to happen? I don't know, but I sure hope it does. Hey, you guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below, and I will join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more dead stuff.